So they say that fishing, now you tell me, but you know more about fishing than I do. They say that when it's raining in the morning, yeah, that when it's raining, it's better for fishing. It is. I think we're live, so yeah. I know we can say good morning to people. We can say good morning. We're yes. talking about fishing, but let's talk about something else. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It's a rainy morning in Coburg at the world headquarters of Marathon Coach. We're in the paint department today for something exciting. If you were hanging out on Facebook on Sunday, like you and I were, of course, then you probably saw that we were, we showed you a little teaser of what we were gonna do this morning. Uh, we showed you a teaser and you can go back and watch it later if you didn't catch it. We showed you the service vehicles as a shell. Uh, Mickey came up with a good idea to show um, the, the uh, service vehicles before they got turned into what they are today. And so we ran that. So anyone, uh, anyway, anybody, welcome to Marathon Mondays. I'm with Pete Sutton this morning. Um, we are revealing the new service vehicles. Uh, Pete and I were talking on um, Friday about this. This is a great commitment to our customers. It is, yeah. It's so tell, talk, walk us through this uh, scenario. And, and I mean, as a member of the senior staff, um, I know that you've been privy to some information. Tell us about what these service vehicles are for and what we're doing here. So these are, this is a big commitment from the company towards our clients. Whenever we are out, not at every event, because we can't hit everyone, but events, parties, rallies, things like that, that's what they're for. One's gonna go to the East Coast, one's gonna go to the West Coast, and we decided to doll them up a little bit so you just can't miss them. Right. So we, we put a little work into it. Let's and take a look at that. Yeah. Let's shut this door. I think the last time your audience saw them, they were white. Yes. So uh, they may have even, I'm not sure if they had those wheels on them or not. They but, did. Okay. They did have the American Racing rims on it. And just so we know, we've got uh, Jeff from our service department down here. A lot of our viewers know Jeff. Uh, he's actually stocking the vehicles with parts and with tools. Uh, yep. to get ready for them to be ready for the next event. That's right. Uh, let's talk about, first of all, you designed these, uh, the exterior of these vans. I came up with the design with, with the owner, uh, Steve, and then we turned it over to uh, a local company named Harris that actually kind of refined it to make sure it went, I mean, it's things like this, making sure it hugs the the fender well properly, things like that are kind of a pain. So I, I had them make some small alter, or they made some small alterations. They kept my design, but kind of tweaked it to make sure it fit the body of the vehicle just right. Because remember, it's a wrap. Right. So everything stretches and moves. It was quite a, it's quite an art form to get these stuff all laid out. It's just a big pr printed sheet of vinyl that's stuck to the vehicle. They did a fantastic job, and you can mm -hmm. see that when you get closer up on it. Um, when, when you're 10 feet away, it, it looks like paint. When you get right up on it, it still looks that way. And I think that's a tribute to the design and to Harris. I've never seen a wrap look so good. And remember everybody, these were white vans mm -hmm. a week ago. And so now they, they just look great and it's gonna represent the company um, you know, at these events that they go to uh, quite well. So, uh, I know Jeff is over there stocking it with tools and and parts. Um, let's can can we go inside one piece sure. real quick and take a look? Uh, if you were watching us um, over the weekend on Sunday, uh, I showed you a little teaser to it. Basically, on the inside, if you can come around here, you'll see that it's got all of these custom-made bins in here for parts and. Um, for tools. And if this one's a little dark, the one on the other side, our second one has a light inside of it turned on so we can see a little better if well, you I'm need. standing up in here, let's, let's move to the other one because that's the one that Jeff is actually stocking. Boy, it is raining out there this morning, everybody. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Uh, 1279, we're standing in the shadows of 12, I believe that's 1279. It's a beautiful bus right there. But let's, uh, get the light on in here and Jeff's actually working by stocking some items. Yeah, come on in here, uh, Todd, and let's take a look at this. And you can see 
it's going to hold different tools, different parts. So Jeff, what else do they need? I know we need an air compressor. What else do we need on this thing besides just hand tools? Uh, we've got our battery operated drills, saws. Now we'll have nuts, bolts, basic stock of parts. If we need something special for the customer, we'll load it up before we take off. So, so I even see thermometers. So, there's, so yeah. you, you're, you're pretty well equipped for just about everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if we have a, like an air conditioner not working, we can at least check and see if it's working. We can't actually work on them because we're not allowed to on the road licensing okay. rules but we can at least check it out and understand what's and going on let the customer know kind of what's going to be needed in the future sure oh that's good so and that's one thing that i was talking this morning with steve about is this is not a replacement for a service center but this is uh added benefits an added benefit yep uh, it enhances the um, experience now you go around to a lot of events Mm -hmm. So you're, you are with the customers a lot, with the clients and with their buses. Correct. Um, what are some of the more popular services that, you, that Marathon provides? Uh, you mean like at, at a rally? At, at rallies and events. Um, uh, we do a little bit of everything. Small repairs. Bosto repairs, that car repairs. Um, pretty much anything we've, I've repaired. Um, Shades, no okay. shades, sure. Adjust awnings, um, and that's a good. Do a lot of stuff. That's a good point, Pete. Uh, bringing up something like your awnings or your shades, you don't want to drive to a marathon location. Even though we've got service centers in Florida, Texas, and Oregon, you might not want to take the time to drive to one of those service centers. But if you're at an event and you need a small adjustment to your awnings or to your shades or, you know, something fixed right. like that that can be done, that's quite a that's quite a great benefit to the client. Yes, it to is. To be able to do it at a location like that. Yeah, that's great. And these vans uh, bring that added uh, enhancement by having all these parts and all these tools. So that's great. So I know you guys worked with a with a pickup truck before. This does this give you a lot more room? Yes. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. So a little, <laughs> so it's it's not just to the client; it's to you guys too. You guys are going yes, to enjoy it. It makes it a lot easier good. on us because everything's readily available to us. Well, happy technicians are a good thing. That's right. Yep. So Just down on service time calls. Yep. You know, the time it takes to do something. Love it. Yeah, that's great. Well, it definitely does show the commitment to the client uh, by the company that uh, they're not only bringing these out there to the events, but sending someone with the expertise, mm -hmm. uh, like Jeff, like other service guys that go out there and take care of the clients. That's great. Well, we'll get out of your way, Jeff. Uh, I, I think, uh, Pete, is there anything else you want to talk about when it comes to these, the design? When it, I, mean, I mean, these were white uh a week ago and now they're wrapped in this beautiful scheme i love i love what uh what it represents on the on the road because it looks so cool <laughs> yeah they're they're definitely meant to be seen i mean we the only thing we did a little different than normal these these vehicles are going to travel so yes we added a, a clear film same thing we put on our buses expel shield sure so mm -hmm. we did the 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 whole front of the vehicle and the fender and the mirrors, same thing we do on the buses. We actually, we believe in it. So it's, that will actually extend uh, the life of it quite a bit. So other than that, um, it's just exciting to get them out there. We've, we've got some events coming up. So it's, uh, I'm excited to see them getting stocked and. Well, let's, let's, put, you, let's put you on the spot. Mm -hmm. Not to interrupt you, but let's interrupt you and put you on the spot. What are the upcoming events that, as the head of marketing, that you're excited about? Uh, Where is Marathon going to be in the next three to four months? Well, I, I, I could tell you that, but I don't know where these things are going, just no, so you know. No, so I'm not relating the these vehicles. things to a, a particular event because we obviously can't go to all of them. Uh, well, we've got all sorts of stuff coming up from, we're going to be at the NADA show, which is National Auto Dealers Association. San Francisco, right? San Francisco. 
There's the Tampa Super Show back in, back in Tampa, Florida. We're going to be down in California soon uh, just to, to go say hi to everybody. Uh, so we'll, we've got a, a few events like that. Uh, gosh, a total of maybe in the next four months, we've got about eight. That's excellent. So we'll be all around. And then something that everyone always is down in California soon, uh, just to, to go say hi to everybody. When are we going to see, when are we going to reveal the 2019 calendar for Marathon? Uh, let's see, it's been printed. It's in bindery, getting foiled. So uh, we're probably going to have them in our hands in the next two weeks. Oh, that's awesome. So we'll, we'll start shipping them out then. It takes, it takes almost a month to have them arrive. Good deal. So Marathon does a lot of events from all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast. So make sure you uh, seek out an event like the Tampa Super Show. Go see those guys down in Florida. Um, who from your staff is going to be at this at Tampa Super Show uh, that you I, know It's of? coming from our Florida location. So people like Preston and, and Mark Cassio will be there. Casey should be Casey there. Casey Hess will be there. Yep. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if the boss shows up, Steve shows up at some point, um, since it's in his on his home turf as well. Yep. And all the way at NADA in San Francisco, I know that I'll be there. I know that yep. Rod, will, Rod be will be there. there. It'll either then either Michael will go or or one of our other executives from the East Coast. We'll see. We'll That's see great. what happens. That's great. So stop in and see uh, Marathon all over, and uh, we really appreciate it. Now going back to the vehicles, um, thank you so much for your time, Pete. Yep. Sure. Uh, this morning and big thanks to Jeff. Jeff, thank you. Uh, thank you for being able to uh, show these off before they hit the road going to events. Uh, you know, like we said, it, it really does show a commitment to our customers that buy merchant, uh, that buy uh, marathon coaches. So, uh, Mickey, before we get out of here, anything we need to cover? Sarah? Sarah's with us this morning doing the comments. What do you think? Yeah, so um, Ken Lavelin has some questions. Pretty cool new band. Besides these two, how many will marathon have and where are they going to be located? Pete, so right you can now, answer that. One will be uh, on the West Coast, start in Oregon. Uh, that'll be its home base. The other one will have a Florida home base. We will add more in the future. I'm not sure when they plan on doing that, but uh, we have a Texas facility as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if eventually we get one there. Uh, we have other marathon vehicles, just so everybody knows. We've got trucks. We've got a 65-foot semi-truck out front that's also marathon, but these are specific, so these, these are new for our toolkit. Um, so there will be more of these. I'm just not sure how many or when, but they'll come. Absolutely. All right, and that, is that about it, Sarah? Uh, there's one more. Reginald Owens would like to know what types of parts will be handy in these vans, or do they supply them based on calls? Based on calls. Now, that's a good question, because, and Reginald, we know him very well. Uh, He's thinking with his marathon sales hat on and, and his service hat, so that's good. Um, Pete, you know, well, they'll they'll have Jeff. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but generally you'll have basic some of the basics in there. But beyond that, if it was a specific part, it would be because you Somebody knew called. someone called and said, "Hey, I, I want to you to right? do something." Yes. Okay, so one way or another, if someone if they needed parts, we can get it to them. Yeah. Right. If we're going to an event and. You know, people know we're coming, they have issues going on, they let us know ahead of time, then we can stock any specialty parts that we might need. And if you don't have what you need, you can overnight we them. You can overnight them. Which is kind of common, isn't it? Yes. Yes. All right, good deal. Well, that being said, for the three of us, I think we should get out of here. What are you, what are you working on this morning besides stocking these vehicles? There's a few jobs over there. There's a few jobs <laughs> over there. Our service department is full as always. So uh, it's, it's, it's good to see the remodels that are happening over there. Uh, some repaints are happening. Let's walk down so we can end by showing you uh, the vans. <coughs> uh, Pete, anything else you want to say before we get out of here? We're good. All right. Thank you everyone for watching Marathon Mondays. Uh, have a good week. Be yourself and do good things. 
Uh, Pete and I are going to be on the road in the next couple weeks, and so we'll probably bring you uh, a uh, show from on the road. Uh, we will let you know where that's going to be later. So for me and Pete and Jeff, have a good Monday morning. Take care, everybody.